I watched the Pixels movie, not to confuse with the Google Pixel uh, smartphone or anything. This is the 2015 movie. And after I watched, I watched the a YouTube commentary of a guy called Jeremy Jones. I think he's very famous for movie commentaries. And he called it, uh, this is just the Adam Sand Sandler uh, movie. So yes, Adam Sandler is starring in it, but uh, Peter uh, Dinklage, um, uh, Monathan, some woman whose name I cannot even pronounce, and uh, several other uh, people are uh, that you might be familiar with are inside. Um, the first part of the movie was so fun. So I'm not sure if the Adam Sandler joke is really the type of joke that I like. Uh, I like goofy stuff, for example. And uh, there was a lot. Um, throughout that movie, there was actually quite a bit of goofy parts, but it, the very first like 30 minutes, I was like looking at it. And, and if, if you have watched the Hot Shots, for example, um, it's an old comedy which uh, makes fun of Top Gun. In fact, now that Top Gun Maverick is announced, people are thinking, is there going to be another Hot Shots movie? So if you that type of person, I strongly recommend it. That's at least the first part was it. Then came some action part, then it turned into kind of an action sci-fi comedy uh, type of movie which is actually more generic. So Jeremy Jones was saying whenever there were pixelated uh, you know, characters, it was fun, but then otherwise it was Adam Sandler's movie. I guess I'm an Adam Sandler's fan without knowing it, because I really liked the, uh, the comedy part in the movie. Uh, there's also Brian Cox, who, by the way, Brian Cox is the, you know, the serious guy, and he's a serious guy in the movie as well, but uh, he inserted into the funny context. Uh, that's a lot of fun. And in the credits, I saw a couple of other Sandler uh, surnames. So I guess they're, they're like relatives. I don't know, son or wife or something. Um, so the movie is all not just fun from Adam, Adam Sandler perspective, but it was also quite enjoyable for somebody uh, who is like my age and even above. So... The movie, uh, just like you know, I was saying for the Blade Runner 2049, um, the initial Blade Runner was taking was taking place in 2019, but actually was was made in 2082, and I was born in 82. Like that, this movie also starts in 1982, and um, basically involves the games of 1980s or even uh, 90s and, and beyond because there are actually continuation of uh, several game franchises uh, into today. There was Tetris, for example. I'm sure like everybody who knows something about gaming pretty much knows about Tetris. I hope uh, it would be quite a bit of a shock if somebody, some new generation... Uh, knows about gaming but doesn't know about Tetris, for example, right? And um, some other games whose names I actually don't know, but I might have like seen them, maybe not played them, but seen them uh, before, like Galaga, for example. Donkey Kong, I know Donkey Kong, um, uh, for example. And uh, yeah, it's it was a different take on this, uh, you know, a War of Worlds uh, or like this alien invasion but uh, from a gaming perspective. So if you like computer games, if you have played computer games, I strongly recommend that you actually watch this movie. From a comedy perspective, it was also, for me, quite fun. Um, unless you like hate Adam Sandler, uh, apparently some people do, uh, then you would be enjoying this comedy quite a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I liked it uh, from pretty much... Uh, start to finish um, Though it kind of like slowed down for me while it was more action-packed the comedy part kind of dwindled uh, and That actually those more action parts were kind of more boring for me uh, Because I like the jokes uh, like the approach um, to those situations uh, very nicely, so it's quite a bit of a recommended movie if you like um, gaming, if you um, are into sci-fi but you know, want to take a different um, 
note on this space invasion thingy and you can maybe learn a bit about the games prior or afterwards you might be maybe interested in these are the old school arcade games um uh yeah it was quite a bit of fun and um i'm glad i uh watched it oh before i finish i'm going to watch another movie it's called ready player one it i think also involves a lot of uh, gaming uh culture but it's much more recent, like I know that there is Tracer from Overwatch in that movie. So uh, I'll be actually making a comparison between Pixels and this. So the Pixels is, you know, Bandai, Namco, I don't know if Konami, no, probably not, um, and Atari games and such, whereas um, the Ready Player One involves like Blizzard game, uh, Overwatch, and some others that I don't really know actually about. And um, those who the current generation probably is more familiar with Ready Player One games, uh, even though um, with some, um, uh, as I said, like Tetris that are ongoing, um, or Super Mario, there is a, actually Super Mario part, but it wasn't too much. I wish it was uh, much more. And uh, uh, yeah, I think the Ready Player One was more popular, but it might be simply because uh, it is a more popular. Um, gaming oriented movie I, I i don't know actually so after watching it i'll make a comparison between two but pixels it was definitely fun i really liked it